it's Jetter. Fucking Jetter. Good morning. Hello. It's the 14th anniversary of Rock and Roll Ribs on December 3rd of 2023. Our third time vlogging, 10th year coming. 10 years later, look at how far we've come. We got a Senjutsu drum set. Look at the size of the stage. Look at the roaring crowd. It is before it's the restaurant even opens. Nick so is just about to go on. Yeah, <laughs> right. But we got Derek and Madison here. I don't think Logan's coming today, so you'll all have the disappointment of that. But we're gonna have a we're gonna have a great day. Eat some eat some ribs. See Nico play, and maybe even a couple of surprises. Maybe a big surprise. This is Derek's first rock and roll ribs party, and I think Madison's as well. So new experiences, always fun. Already got the line forming over here. Something that's always first to the maiden is lines. What are you wearing? Peace of mind tour. We're just taking some diamond spandex. I don't have the arm cuffs though. You can hear Nico setting up his uh, Senjutsu drum set from the tour. Seems to be pretty classic now for him to actually bring Maiden kits. There were several years where he just played on a smaller kit that wasn't connected to Maiden at all, but last year he brought the Legacy set, and this year we've got Senjutsu. And yeah, that's him playing over there right now. He always shows up super early and sets it up himself. And there's Van Veen. They've had like the same management here for so many years that the lady comes out and uh, she basically explained this year that they're not doing it like in previous years where they asked for phone numbers because nobody can hear their phone going off, people give wrong numbers, and people get pissed off that they're not eating. So they're just doing first come first serve. They're gonna come out and call the number of people that can fit on a certain tabletop. So we're sticking with four so we can get in quick and eat and get out here for the music. The madness has started. Cheers, it's time to eat. Looking at the menu, it hasn't really changed over the years, at least from last year, but I'm gonna stick with the, the ribs, baby back ribs. So we've come all this way, and Steph has decided to get the chicken fingers. No, I haven't decided that. I'm really nervous for reasons I will be revealed to you all. And I was gonna go for the salad, but I really like the wings, but I feel like they'll mess me up because I get a nervy tummy. I'm just making fun of me because I suggested maybe getting boneless wings. Well, that's not really wings, is it? No, it's not. I know it's not, but... Anyway, we're having a great time here. What do you think, Derek? I'm having a great time. Okay, this good. Is tons of fun. We were probably the last ones in the building to get our food, but here we go. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten, like, barely anything today. What delicious meal have you got? Vegetables. <laughs> What is it? I am not a number. <laughs> no, you're not. How about that? Cold Spring School of Rock Kids, you were just amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They bought their A plus game this year, don't you think? Uh, hey, Steph. Hi, James. No, it's Fred. Ryan. <laughs> Uh, thank you so very much. We oh, wait, This is a highlight for me of the day when we kick this off with these kids because they are just, are they just phenomenal or what? All ages, all ages. And uh, God bless you all. Thank you so much. Hey, have a great Christmas, you guys, okay? Hope Santa's good. Have you been good this year? Not you lot, I'm talking to them over there. Have you been good? Or oh, have you been bad? I hope you've been bad, because it doesn't matter either way, because Santa loves you. I know that. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Anyway, yes, that was stunning. And they got off a bit early. Well, they went on a bit early. What about Phantom of the Opera? Oh, my Lord. Fantastic rendition. I've got to watch the cables up here, because I'm going to pull. Oh, yes, I've got something to show you.
Appreciate it. Lovely. God bless you. So here, yeah, I signed it, because when I sit down at home, I can take my time, and I did that. It took me about an hour to sign 100 posters, which is normally 20 minutes tops for me. But anyway, I've numbered them, so it's pop luck which one you get. But um, this year, I'm charging $30. I know, I know it's $10 more than they used to be, but uh, it is going to a worthy cause this year. We're going to... Um, We've got a couple of charities. Uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital is going to be the main benefactors for New Lot this year. Thank you so very much for your, your support with that. So I've got to, I'm going to up the price of these just because everything in the world is going up and why not these as well? That's what, that's what I'm thinking. I'd give them to you if I could, but you know. So anyway, so St. Jude's Children's Hospital we have uh, Angels of War coming up in a little bit, and yeah. they, yeah, they're yeah. fantastic. I'm so I'm so blessed, and Mitch and I are so blessed to have these great bands uh, with us again this year. Jetta are here, uh, Jetta, sorry, I, it sounds like I say Jetta, like Cheddar, right? But that's because I'm British and I speak the Queen's English properly, not like you freaking lot. You lobotomised our language. Aluminium, aluminium. What the fuck is that all about? <laughs> were you there, Fred? Were you there? No, <laughs> I wasn't. What was it I called him when we were at the? Brian. Brian. Yes, Steph's old man's now Brian. Anybody? I oh, know. Anyway, so um, where was I? I lost my train of thought. Well, that, there's something for you. Oh yeah, the stick, fuck it, thank you so much. That's another fiver in the box. So, so, I've got a bunch of Stein drumsticks, right? And rather than auction them off, there's a couple I'm gonna do, because they're very special, and I'll tell you the story about them later. So, go I'm gonna charge $100 for a pair of signed used sticks, right? If you buy two pairs, 150 bucks. How's that? Does that sound good? I know they're a bit expensive and it's Christmas time, but they do make good presents. Justin. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm absolutely uh, made up my son's here today. He couldn't be here for a couple of two, uh, last couple of times. He wasn't here. Uh, in due to circumstances that I ain't going to tell you about because it's none of your fucking business. But I am so proud of my son. He's been doing so well. He's, uh, he's in a... Fantastic place at the minute, ain't you, son? And he's one fearless drummer. In fact, in fact, he said to me just a minute ago, before I come up, he said, Dad, can I get out and play a song with Angels of War? I said, no, unless they, they stop their, you know, it's 45 minutes, everybody gets 45 minutes, right? And I thought about it, and I thought, no, bollocks. If he wants to get up and play, and they want to play an extra song, why don't we do that? What do you think? Uh, by the way, I have to listen to the song for the first time and learn it within the next couple of hours, but I'll promise you guys I'm capable of doing that. I'll tell you, he'll nail it, he'll nail it. Right, anyway, back to, back to this for a minute. All right, son. Annual Duncan coffee break accomplished. Back to the music. It's getting a little busier now. It's interesting. It seems like every year there's more and more people that come and tailgate and set up their cars early to hang out all day.
have kindly offered to have lunch with two of you lucky people right now. <laughs> right? And I would like to say, let's go $500 to have lunch for two right now. We buy the dinner. 500 for you. Anybody? Here's 600 for lunch with Joey and Krista right now for two people. Five going once. Five going twice. So to the man over here. Lovely. Yeah. I'm just wondering whether I should go and get it for you. It was made for us by, who knows, um, Captain Harris on the uh, YouTube channel, Captain Harris. Yeah. Stephanie and Brian. <laughs> are you about, Steph? There they are, they're over there. They were over here earlier. Right, um, okay. I'm gonna go and get Eddie. So would you like to make your way to the stage, please? Right, I'll be right back. Please put your hands together for Steph. And Steph made this Eddie, and I think she's absolutely amazing at her talent with the making Eddies and stuff. So, what do you reckon, Steph? What shall we start the bidding at? No, that's a little bit cheap. Uh, she's going to sign the box. Uh, oh, she's already signed the box. There is a beautiful Eddie in there, isn't there? Eh? So, thank you very much for, for and our lovely pants. Bruce would be very envious of those. You did. So, let's start him off at $500. Who give us $500 for this Eddie? And I'll sign it. Steph signed the box. Anybody? $500. Who'd like to buy him for 500 bucks? Eddie, you want him? I mean, it's a work of art, come on. There's a lot of time and effort she put into this. Didn't you, Steph? Hey. Oh, okay, we got a bit of over there, $500. Yeah? 500, anybody gonna go 550? We'll go up with 50 pound notes, I mean dollars. Excuse me, I'm still, I'm still living in England, really. So I have 550 bucks for him, anybody? And I will sign him, I'll get somewhere I can put it. 550, 600, 600. It's gone up to six, I've got 550 over here to plug in the app. 600 over there. Okay, $600 going once. $600 going, oh, 650. Oh, hang on, hang on, this bloke's having a chat with his missus. 
$600 going once. I've already said that. Six twice, fair warning. Show to the gentleman over there for $600. Thank you very much. Uh, hey! Hey, look at these lads. Are you ready? Hey, well done, Steph. Thank you very much. Thanks, Stephanie and uh, Brian. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. That will con conclude the auctions for now.
introduce you to him again. You've seen this box once before, haven't you? Well, it's a good job we didn't give this to the person who, uh, who bid on it, because I did a runner. Yeah. So, they put, uh, what was it, $600, they said. That's, I'll tell you what we'll do. I, I did ask Steph what she thought she'd like to uh, receive. Good, well, she doesn't make, get the money, the, the charity does. She said I'll start it at $300. How's that? $300, anybody? And I'll sign it. $300. I see $350 in the room. It's not a room, is it? Hang on a minute. $300, $350. $350. $400. $400. $400. Got three fifty, four hundred. You've got three fifty already. Oh, four. Okay. Any uh, advance on four? Four fifty, four fifty, five hundred, five fifty, five fifty, six to you, sir. Six to you. Six fifty, six fifty, seven to you, sir. Seven, seven fifty. Oh, seven fifty eight, eight, eight fifty. Whoa, this is great. 900? Wow. 950. 950. $1,000 for Eddie. Yes! 1,100. We go up to 100 now. 1,100. You're, you're done. 1,000. Going once. 1,000 going twice. Oh! 1,100. We're going 12. 1200 going once. 13. You want it? 1200 going once. 1200 going twice. You bastard. You can't be at it. $1,300. 13, $1,400. 1400 There's 15 to you, sir. It's yours at 15 at the minute. 16, 17, oh, $1,700 for Red Beard, $1,700 going once, are you out sir, $1,800, he's got out $1,800, $1,900, and she is worth it, and Eddie is just proof, uh, okay, $2,000, are you in? Yeah. 2,000, 20, well, let's go up to two, 20, no, all right, 2,100, 2,100, and back at you, sir, 22, the Avenue, uh, $2,200, $2,300, $2,400, $2,500, $2,600, $2,700, $2,800, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2,900, $2
Yeah. Oh my God. So, so I'll do another deal with you.
notice I've got a gong behind me. Yeah. Oh, I love having a gong behind me, especially one that works. Because you notice normally I have ones that are painted. They got artwork on, ain't they? But this one, this is what they call an earth gong. So Thomas Paisley, way back in the day, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, decided to make gongs that resonate to the frequency that all the planets in the solar system reverberate. So I was at the Frankfurt Trade Show. Must be in that 2020, sorry, 2002, somewhere around there. And it was me and Terry Bozio playing for Paisley. And those days, Terry was a Paisley at Dorsey. So after the event, Mr. Paisley turned around to me. We all went out one night to this beer keller on Kaiserstrasse. It's still there. And this, this beer keller, they got an umpar band. That's what they call an umpar. Playing 24 hours a day. They rotate the band every five or six hours. Different musos come in. Anyway, they've got telephones on the table and a number. So if you see somebody over in the other side of the room that you fancy, you just dial their phone number. Hello? This has happened a few times. What? 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 The blonde end is sitting to the left side of you. Would you like to give her the phone, please? I know I'll give her something, but it ain't the phone, they will say. Oh, that went down even worse than the fight the two men submarine, didn't it? So, anyway, we were out on a night, having a night with Pisces. This was a, a Saturday night. The, the event finished on Sunday night. And Mr. Pisces turned around to both Tor Terry and I and said, you come tomorrow and I have a gift for you. So we went up. I went up to the, the gongs and they're all lined up. And I hit each one of them and I fell in love with the Mars gong. Right? And Terry went, ooh, I like the Earth. So Ter Thomas, we'd like, I, Terry would like this one, I'd like this one, the Mars gong. So we, uh, no, we went to the bar, had a couple of drinks. They started to set the stand down. And we both went up to the gongs, respectively. I hit, I hit Terry's, he hit mine. And I went, hmm. I quite like the Earth gong. And he, Terry, bless his heart, turned around and said, I like the Mars. And we swapped. This is the Earth gong. Yeah. 86. No, we played it live. 84, we were out on the fucking tour in 84. What do you mean 83? Peace of mind tour. Yeah. What? Well, to play it in 83, but we did we go into 84 with it, didn't we? <laughs> oh, fuck me, we did. We finished the tour of Christmas, whenever it was, in Dortmund, when Eddie got killed. Does anyone remember that on the Peace of Mind tour? Right, that was the last gig of that tour, so they're right. 1983. I remember when Steve went in the studio and he had half this song written, like most of the songs on that album, Where Eagles There was half written. We composed most of that in Jersey and the Channel Islands. But this one slipped through and we did it in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we learned this one in the studio at Compass Point in NASA. And uh, it's a tricky little song, especially for me. So I'm going to leave it and I'm not going to tell you what it is. Four.
a human being, a person, a great guy, a very well-natured, lovable guy. His vocals have just come on leaps and bounds over the years. It's a pleasure for me to play with Paolo Vasquez, please. Thank you so much. Last but not least, my, one of my dearest and bestest friends I've known since 1985. And uh, my wife was good friends with his to-be wife. They weren't married at the time, and we met back in 85. Uh, Lovely lad. And uh, obviously, not only is he my best mate, one of my best mates anyway, I've got a couple, actually. I do. He has, he has been the heartbeat of rock and roll ribs, literally. I've got my name up there, but this man and his wife, and my wife have really been one of us. Mr. Vince Tan, ladies and gentlemen.
So, shall we get me mate up? So, we're going to do a couple of things that, that are out of my ballpark. Uh, well, not really. This is a different band. Something that uh, I'm enjoy. I'm going to enjoy playing. Uh, so, bear with me. As many fuck ups as I make, just don't laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, German, would you please put your hands together and welcome my dear friend Joey Belladonna, please.
sung by a band called Trust. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Nico's gonna so, sing all the time. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let Jim the Court play this track. This is a song I used to play in a band called Trust. Shit tons of years ago. Before Maiden. Uh, 19... Ooh. 1980 to 1982. I did my last gig with Trust on my 30th birthday in June the 5th. Rock Palace. And it was filmed. And uh, we used to do this song. But I'm, I'm knackered. I'm going to give it over to Jim and uh, the guys. And they're going to do a song which Anthrax played. And uh, Joey's up and seeing it. So I am going to leave it to the good, in the caliber of good hands. And uh, it's a song called. So, sure. Sure. favorite year. Unbelievable. It's, it's so fucking rad. It was so rad. I heard it was rad. It was rad as hell. Did it man. slap? It slaps. Rad. It slaps. <laughs> it fucks. It, dude, oh, it was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It slap, it what did you head. think about your very first rock and roll ribs party? You know? There were it, fights? There were, there was fist fights. There was big eddies. There was, uh, Lots of skid mark jokes. It was a good yeah. time. Nick. No, genuinely, it, it it was an absolute blast. It was so much fun. Uh, yeah, I, I had a great time with it. This was my first time at Rock and Roll Ribs since the year it opened. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of interesting coming back and then being involved with the party for the first time. It was it was a great time. Yeah, Loved and unfortunately, it. Nico didn't do a uh, meet and greet or anything. Everything okay? Your door. Yeah, so unfortunately, <laughs> Nico didn't do a meet and greet or anything, and Sad. he was hoping to meet him, but it's all right, you know, it is what it is. He had a stroke, and he can only do so much, so... I did get some great pictures of yes. him and stuff. And I'll put Derek's yeah. Instagram handle down in the description, so you can yeah. see some of those later. But yeah, all in all, it was a great time. It was James and I's 10th year since we started going. Yeah, I was 17 my first year, and it was... No, he's 46. <laughs> yeah, it was a wild, wild time back then, and a great time now. I still don't really know exactly what happened with that auction, but I'm very happy about it. So like, it started with barely anyone having interest in going for $600. Which was my fear from the beginning, was just like, what if I, you know, have it up there and then it's just crickets like nobody wants this thing nobody's willing to pay for it and so somebody did 600 which i was you know really happy to hear like okay well at least got a few bids on it and then that guy bailed from what you saw and then chaos ensued and i i don't really know 
what to say about it, but I'm really happy. Uh, whoever bought that, thank you very much. For how much? I think, what was it, 30, 30, 3500 30, Yeah. Which I thought it was 3400 but I guess I heard 911000 Yes. It was, no, it was, that was, that made this whole trip worth it. Yeah, it was the so best, great. The best one ever. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm very happy for that. I had quite a few of you come up and say hello to James and I, and that's always, it's always a pleasure meeting you guys. I'm very happy to share, uh, you know, all of our Iron Maiden adventures with you and what we do and have all this for the future. And yeah, it was a really, really good time. Lots of friends there and I'm happy with it. Still processing the, <laughs> the auction a little bit. But, yeah, they, at least they made a lot of money today for the charity, which is what this event is always put on for. So good job, guys. Good job, Paolo and Jim and Rob and, and Mike and all of you guys. You always do a great job. So if you're watching, I know I told you before leaving, but great job again. But yeah, uh, you guys have any closing comments? Joey Belladonna was sick and they kind of unexpectedly ended with antisocial, which was a total ripper. Yeah. So, great closer. I think it was my favorite party ever for the last 10 years. And I'm excited for the next one. Yeah, talk about To Tame a Land. I was thrilled oh, to hear that. They pull, out, they pull out To Tame a Land. They play Alexander. They do call, They do the actual like Blade Runner intro. I was so happy about that because every time I hear that, it makes me so excited. They did Hell on Earth, which was incredible. Yeah, it was great. Uh, but yeah, I think the biggest surprise was To Tame a Land that hasn't been played in 40 years. Yeah, so I was so happy to hear that. That's one of my favorite songs off Peace of Mind, so. Yeah, and I think it sounded really good. It was really humid today. Yeah, I there's some shots from the back because I left the front after to tame a land because that outfit I was wearing just got way too hot. I had to go change. So yeah, it was all in all, I had a great time in the back anyway. The sound was really good back there. So anything else, boys? Comment below your favorite song that they played. I know it was to tame a land. <laughs> Infinite dreams though. Getting to see Infinite Dreams. But they always cool. play that. So it's, it's oh, nice. that's, well, it's my first it's time. It's his first time. No, 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 no. For you. Oh, yeah, for you. Sorry. Yes. So it's my first time with that, so that was cool because I've always really liked that song. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to Tame a Land, I agree with you, Steph. That's always been one of my favorites from Peace of Mind. It, Peace of Mind is arguably probably my favorite Maiden album. Yeah. So getting to see that was just a real treat, and I agree with James as well. Getting Joey coming out and doing the journey songs was rad oh yeah but doing the impromptu antisocial cover was just yeah. it, it was we did totally have a fight bonkers. we did have a fight a, break out a fucking fist fight broke out right <laughs> next to us during that i was like oh shit we're moshing and then i see a guy like doing choking some, something like have another guy in a chokehold i was like oh no that guy's about to die uh <laughs> dude it was it was out of control and eddie showed up and then eddie showed up yeah, yeah. during yeah. tripper which was really <laughs> it weird was so well so wild no, it was a blast. It honestly makes me kind of sad that it waited yeah. so long to come down and do this. Hey, but, better uh, late than never. Yeah, absolutely. This I was a good year to come, apparently. Oh, so it was It was totally worth it. Totally worth it. No. So on that disappointment. It's time to end. We'll see you guys next time.